All right, so the first thing you're gonna need obviously is Python. So if you have Python already, just ignore or skip ahead uh, after this video, but I'm just gonna download Anaconda because that's kind of what I've been using for Python um, the past couple years, I guess. So I'm just gonna get started. How do you download this? See all Anaconda, this has changed. <laughs> Uh, let's just get this commercial edition. Oh wait, no. Individual edition, that's what we want. And I'm gonna download Python 3.8, 64-bit. Now, if you've been following some of my ArcGIS videos, you might've seen I already have a Python Anaconda installed, but that's the one that actually comes with the ArcGIS Pro software. So in case people uh, haven't watched those videos, I just wanted to show you how you know, how you can download Python and, and install the packages. Cause it, it's a pretty quick process these days. Might as well just show how to do that. So if you don't know what Anaconda is, it's basically uh, a package manager for Python. Uh, it comes with a bunch of um, packages installed already. You'll see. All right, just gonna run this. Yes, uh, all users is fine for me. Uh, I'm not going to register it. Because when you have a bunch of different Python floating around, I, I wanna explicitly say like what Python I wanna use. I don't want it to be automatically added to the path. All right, guys, so it finished. And again, if you, you don't need to have this exact version of Python that I have. So if you already have Python installed, don't worry about installing all this. So I'm just gonna close all this and finish. And now if you go to your start menu and type Python, actually type Anaconda, you'll see we have this Anaconda prompt. So open this up, actually run it as an administrator. And here, I'm just gonna create a new, um, conda environment so if you type conda env list this will show all the environments we have so these are for my other python my arcgis python but i want to make a new one so i'm just going to say i'm going to use this conda cheat sheet here and we want to make exact copy of environment so i'm going to copy this paste it and we need to change this a little bit. So we want to clone the base and name it. Um, what should we name this? Let's name it Folium Project. It's always just best practice to clone the default environment uh, for when you have a new project. Not every single project, but since I don't have any others, I might as well just start with a new, a new cloned environment. Okay, so right there it says to activate this environment, use conda activate folium project. Okay, so if I type conda list, we're gonna see all the Python packages that are installed. Now now we're ready to start um, 
Actually, first let's set up our PyCharm environment. So I have this old project, but I'm going to make a new project. And I'm going to grab that new Conda environment that got created. So we need to find out where that went. So I have a feeling, actually, we can do this by, we just type Python import sys. And I'm just going to print where this Python is actually installed. So print sys executable. So this is where the python.exe is. So I might be able to just copy this in here. Yeah. Folium project. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to make it available to all my projects and just create. And let's do it in a, a new window. And I'm going to make a new Python file and call it folium project. I'm going to delete this one. All right. So now while this is like syncing and getting ready, let's head over to folium's website. So I'm going to close out all this stuff. So let's look at their install requirements. So if we go to here, since we use Conda, we're just going to use this Conda, Conda install folium. So back in the Anaconda prompt, I'm going to get out of Python, just say exit. And now I'm going to do the Conda install. Make sure you're inside your folium environment. Okay, just type Y. Okay, cool. So I'm actually going to close this command prompt since we don't need it anymore. I'm going to go back to PyCharm. And I'm going to let this finish. And then I'm just going to import Folium to make sure it recognizes it. So it, it's not ready yet, but uh, that's what we'll do in the next video. We'll, we'll start actually uh, start start coding the, uh, you know, the script. All right, see you.